Hello, today I'm going to talk about the history of Benny and Martha. If you don't know who Benny and Martha are, they're two older people and they like to have sex. Just getting that disclaimer out of there right now so that if you're not interested in learning about that, you can just click away and I'm not going to be offended. <laughs> but if you're fans of Benny and Martha, I guess stick around. Um, when I was about 16, I was doing what ended up being the end of KRL Studios, <clears throat> which is the Season 6 uh, double cassette tape set. Um, if you don't know about KRL Studios, my last history video was about that. Um, but I was doing some experimental things. I was doing a character, I think, named Uncle Tom, who's a serial killer, and just literally doing some experimentation in my grandfather's garage. I was taking things and hitting them to see what sounds they made. I think I did a whole thing where I started up his um, four-wheeler. And at some point, I decided that I was I had this idea that was so great. And I'm just going to tell you what it was. And this video will probably have an age restriction because I came up with this great idea of this. I said, I wonder what it would sound like if an old man was getting fellatio. <laughs> that idea has driven me to today where I am still doing Benny and Martha. Different kinds, and uh, I guess that's a good place to get into this, right? So, that was it. That's the idea I had, and that's where I went. And I had Benny... Or they were unnamed characters at the time. I, I didn't have, they were just voices that I came up with. And, um, should I do the voices? I think I should. My brother said I shouldn't do the voices ever on camera because, in his head, I don't even want to know what he's got going on in there because he said he kind of has, in his head, the perfect vision of what Benny and Martha look like. But, but I don't know. Like, you want to see? I mean, for those of you who don't know, Martha's kind of a. Sounds a little bit like Mr. Brown, but she's a little bit softer and a little bit more soft-spoken. And Benny's a little bit rougher. He's kind of a downish fella. He's going to do whatever he wants that time. And that's Benny and Martha. That's actually Martha and Benjamin. Ah. So I, I, that was it. It was going to be like a two-minute long thing, maybe a 30-second long thing, where this old guy was getting pleasured by his wife. <clears throat> and it turned into this really long skit. Or I just kept recording. They did other things. <laughs> Benny had a heart attack and died. And I think he came back to life. <laughs> After she buried him. And the punchline was he was still alive. It was weird. So that was it. That was supposed to be it. That was just going to be a one-off. And then I did one where they were in a car. And I think I recorded a trailer for another one. And it just kind of took off from there. And as I said, the season six um, cassettes of KRL was the end of KRL. Because at that point that I decided I was going to move on to um, YouTube. And I had posted a couple of videos on this channel. And they think they're still up. They should be taken out. Probably. But they were just like montages of horror villains with music under them. But... As far as visual of me being on screen, I was on another channel, which um, I'm not going to mention the name of, but with my brothers. And we decided that uh, in addition to our sketch comedy, we are going to have, each of us were going to do a special. And my special happened to be that first ever recording of Benny and Martha, that kind of episode one. And that was it. That's where Benny and Martha first got their start on YouTube. And then I started kind of using my own channel to come up with things like Mr. Brown. And around that same time, I decided I was going to record the first original for YouTube, Benny and Martha. So that's when I came up with the character of Andy, who his name is Andy Brown, but he's not Mr. Brown. It's kind of complicated, even though Benny and Martha are also... Browns, they're not related to Mr. Brown. Um, you know, as a young writer, you don't exactly think about those things, and 
when you're coming up with characters, you just throw names out there. It happens. But I did an episode where their grandson, portrayed on screen by me, um, had recorded his grandparents just to have to be funny, and he listens to it back, and it's them having sex. And um, then the next one was the Christmas episode, where at the end he comes in and walks in on them. I don't know why I thought that aspect was going to be funny. Maybe it was funny. Maybe, you know, maybe I'm wrong. But <clears throat> um, I think I did a couple more on KRL around that same time where there was one about Benny that bought a new bed and there was a whole thing with the um, the mover, the guy that, the FedEx guy that brought it. But for the most part, it was straight to YouTube at that point. And there have been many uh, episodes. There's a whole playlist that I will link below. Um, I'll mention that again at the end. But there was... There's been at least one Halloween one. There's been a couple other Christmas ones, I think. They went to the fair. There was probably a Thanksgiving one. Um, they're just different ones. And all of those, by the way, involved them having sex. And it was pretty much the same plot over and over. And when I was in college, I continued doing these and it w I decided that it was time to do something different. So the first new thing I did was what I usually do with my characters, which is I involve music. And in this case, I actually wrote a song that is a parody of Benny and the Jets called Benny and Martha. And I recorded that. And um, I feel like at the end of that song, they're in it. They kind of do a little bit of a thank you to the fans or something, but then they recorded a song called There's a Hole, dot, 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 um, <laughs> which is quite a raunchy little ditty, but <laughs> I, I can't even repeat it here because this is not that kind of a video. But then I decided I was going to do something different, and I wound up over the course of a couple of days Recording. By the way, I didn't mention this before, but like Mr. Brown, Benny and Martha is pretty much all improvised. I'll come up with an idea, and I might think about, well, it would be funny if they said this or did this, but for the most part, I just start, and that's that. And over the course of the next couple of days, I recorded a 45-minute long holiday epic special where they go and they take Andy with them on a cruise ship and so you've got them leaving for the airport you've got them on the plane you've got them on the cruise ship and I don't know I think it's pretty good <laughs> but it's 45 minutes long and I recorded most of it in the one go I kind of stopped and took breathers but that one wasn't really about them doing the thing that they usually did, and I liked that, because it might not have been the funniest Benny and Martha ever, but it was proof that I could do something different with these characters, um, which I had already kind of thought about in the past, because I wanted to do an, maybe an animated series someday, and so I had these other storylines set up for it, what they would do in their everyday life, but I never get around to doing that. It's something that I'm not opposed to. I still actually have drawings that I did of what Benny and Martha potentially would look like um, in an animated form. So that's not something that I'm opposed to. I just have never gotten around to doing that. I don't know much about animation. Maybe that's something I could look into. Um, but yeah, this holiday epic was a complete game changer for me because I did this whole episode... 45 minutes long, and it was different stuff. And, of course, they did that during the thing, but that wasn't the main thing that they did. It was like, well, I think they did it on the plane. You know, you got Benny and Martha on a plane, of course they're going to join the Mile High Club. I'm sorry, that's just the way it's going to go. But after that, I kind of decided I was going to change 
from sex to kind of general humor with them. And I did one where they went to a restaurant and they got seafood, and I'm going to say the word because it's the name of a fish, and they ordered cunt. I used that to kind of <laughs> humorously show, you know, they were talking about the fish, but of course I used words like, this gay me, and you know, things like that, that made it sound like they might not be talking about the fish. But it's one of those things where people get offended by that word, and it's like, it's the name of a fish. That's, that's just a fish. And granted, if you think about that for more than, oh, half a second, you can figure out where that whole situation came from with the word. But that's not what this is about. But then from there, yeah, I did, I've done two completely non-sexual episodes in the last couple of years. <clears throat> I did one where they went camping, and it was like ten minutes long, and I think it's quite funny. And it's just them camping, roasting marshmallows, getting in the tent. There's a bear outside. Benny gets attacked by a bear. And then recently, uh, probably back in March when COVID kind of started, I did one where they just went shopping, you know, and that was, I, I hope it was funny. Again, I'm, I'm not a, the best judge of my own work, of course, but, but you know, I'm, and in the future, that's what I'm looking to do with these characters is just think of different ways. In fact, there's a brand new one out I don't know if I've uploaded it yet or if it's just recorded, but where they call Direct TV because they've got some funny stuff on their bill. Turns out it's Andy's fault. Spoiler alert. But I think that's kind of the direction, you know? Do different things with the characters that doesn't involve that and just try to build the characters, you know? Maybe take them on more adventures. Introduce different characters into the series that maybe wouldn't have been in the series before when they were just doing that. So that's where I'm taking it um, in the future, and that's really all I have to say about Benny and Martha. Uh, as I said, there will be a link to the YouTube playlist with most of the Benny and Marthas in the description. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope you tune in next time for the next history episode.